Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great. So perception of field changes with the field of you and today you have made the right decision of your life because we are going to make your perception broader. We are giving you the content so that you can create more, explore more, engage more and optimize your career more in the better way. Today, this is the second post podcast of TechWit series. I'm Lakshit Pan, the TechWit podcaster working for multiple communities. And today as a guest, we are having Jashi Gupta, upcoming summer intern at Google. And I would love to hear some few words about as an intro from Jashi Gupta. Jashi, take over the call. Yeah, thank you, Lakshit. So hello, everyone. I'm Jashri Gupta, and I'm incoming summer intern at Google. Also, I'm working in several communities as a lead for uh, Azure Developer Community and also chapter lead for GirlScript Jaipur. And I'm also facilitating Google Cloud Ready program for the afternoon. Yeah, that was a really nice introduction. So Jashri, coming to the point, I would just like to know how about uh, what do you think about this like what's the difference between the learning phase and the application phase you know what i'm saying with is when you have started studying in your first year how the things has been changed from then and now you are like you know upcoming summer and how you have prepared yourself for this okay so talking about my learning phase so like when i was in my first year so i uh, i was exploring the college life only and i was just uh, yeah i was just good at the college subjects that i was having in my first semester and second semester and then this lockdown came and then uh, things uh, changes very rapidly but this lo- lockdown was the turning point for my life and i explore uh, exploring the f- i was trying to explore the field uh, like i was trying my hands on iot and like then cyber security and specifically talking about cyber security so this field excited me a lot and just i was just uh, fully indulged in this field and then i tried to uh, do some internships and then uh, further by those learnings i got the internship at google and i was just exploring my learning part and implementing that like, yeah, so that was very nice. Uh, the lockdown has played an important role in, uh, like, you know, this has featured this is the best part. So, you know, uh, like, why you have chosen this domain only? Why you have chosen this company? Well, you know, obviously, this is a, you know, fantasy of multiple people joining Google as a summer intern or, you know, as a full time role in a full time role. So, why you have chosen this domain as for your career? Okay, so specifically talking about the domain that cyber security that I have chosen. So like cyber security is a domain where like which is a burning domain nowadays because we are having lots of cyber crimes happening uh, in our day to day life and like uh, girls are girls ratio is very less in this domain. So I just want to bring that change. So that's why I choose this domain and I just work over it. And then further, I was interested in coding. If 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 I could say like I was. In interested in coding from my 11th and 12th onwards so i just practiced that and that's why i got this in touch yeah and the best part is you know google is very diverse with the you know when it comes to a female candidate they are having a little bit edge about female candidates they would like to appreciate if some candidates are giving their efforts some they are trying to put in their efforts trying to explore the career they are having some edge about these technologies so uh you know see we all are working in communities uh, i'm also working in a community you are also driving so many communities so at a point of time some what i have explored but some people used to being idle in the community after joining any particular company i hope that doesn't uh, fit for yourself but you know this happens many times like someone uh, you know parallelly they are not working in the community along with the company so what are your views upon this uh, see, community is very important. Like it's an it's a platform we could say where you can explore, build connections, and learn so many things from so many people. So community is the only place where you can explore and get a chance to peer to peer learn and to mentor the people. Also, we'll get the chance to learn from many many uh, search experts and industry experts specifically, and. Uh, it will be like it will be a golden opportunity we could say joining a community so that you can explore the people explore the people and their connections and they, then you can connect with the people so that you can uh, get good guidance and which you can further use for the internships and jobs that you are going to choose and domain that you are going to choose in your life okay because you need to you are truly really deserving for this and you know 
this is the thing when you are working on your sports because you are really worth it so i just like to know how you overcome with your diet down time like you know every time everyone faces in such indulging such a phases where they are not not the things are not getting good they are not getting the right results so how you overcome all these uh see uh, when you when you are seeing that your peers and your students like students from your college and your batch are getting placements getting internships then you might feel some anxiety but yeah you have to overcome that but uh, like if you want to uh, overcome that the best thing is that you can practice and just believe in yourself in your skills and just do your best you will definitely get a chance to uh, get a better place uh, like as your friends are having yeah so uh, coming to the point you know when it comes to cyber security field the students are having a perception of you know it's like more about a hacking and you know uh, working on linux terminals like you know car linux and all these things so i just wanted uh you to address upon this like what it looks like to work actually on a cyber security field as in in the sense of google summer intern okay so basically uh, for the google summer intern like my role was specifically on the data and like the security of the data and servers so specifically talking in terms about the cyber security so like uh, cyber security is not about hacking it's about the saving the content from hacking so like cyber security is the one thing that which you can explore in the terms of hacking but it is more than hacking you have to save your data from the hacking attacks and other things so it's like it's like that you have to work over all the tools and like linux and everything and then you can just protect everything that's yeah so yeah so that's the real point you know the, this is how this is what we are we have started a podcast for because you know the perception of students has because they are in a hoax like this field is this you have to do this you have to do likewise so they are just confused how to go in and this i would like to add one more point to this why one should choose cyber security domain can you please uh, throw your views upon this okay so why i have chosen this domain right so uh, specifically like as i have already mentioned that uh, the girls ratio is very less in this domain and uh, like most of the students as well as we could say that there are several several crimes that are happening with the teenagers and like with the people related to the bank frauds or like related to instagram hack or other things so like this helped me to get excited about this journey like i just want to help those people who are Uh, the victim of the cyber attacks or cyber crime so i want to help them because they are not getting a correct resources where to contact and how to recover their data and everything so for them i just want to help them that's why i have chosen this too yeah so one last question from my side so why you know when you are working in a communities and you are you know in a college and you are also working you, you know upcoming summer intern at google you are you are upskilling yourself in multiple domains so how you manage all these things what's your time management if you have any special skill for this you are just performing any special classes for this how you are managing your so many things in a bunch because everyone is getting 24 hours how you are managing your time okay so time management is the most important thing because otherwise your tasks won't get completed and uh, like for me i usually do the priority setting over my uh, task like first of all i uh, i make a to do list for the task that i have to do uh, today and then i'll set a priority over that that what we what i have to do in first then last and i have to complete this by today so this is the way how i manage my time but there are several other ways like you have to take uh, some divide you can divide the times like 6 6 6 so 6 hours study 6 hours internship work 6 hours sleep so like that you can also work over it. yeah so this is very good way nice way to work and guys you can work in any way because analyze optimize engage and you know explore this is the right way to do the things analyze your environment you know explore what domain you are you want to work on then optimize what you have explored in that optimize those things in your life and you know there is a difference between motivation and discipline if you are motivated you are you can do something but if you are disciplined you will definitely get the success so this is the right way to do anything 
and yeah uh, jessie said you see you used to do like you know she used to work with the to do list part and you can there are multiple ways you can work in time batches you can work in 6 hours you can do anything whatever whatever suits you basically so you have to optimize first you have to explore first what's the best fit for you so thank you jessie thank you for joining us for this podcast it was nice to be really nice interacting with you though it was a really short podcast but i we just want to make a short content so that the student can get benefits from the curated content in the best way possible so thank you jessie thank you for joining me yeah thank you for having me